Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to congratulate the host and organizers, together with both the French and Swedish embassies, for taking this initiative. I thank them for the invitation to participate, even remotely, with this recorded message. It is indeed an excellent opportunity to exchange about our experience, both in Sweden and in France. I am pleased to say a few words on the 2016 leg legislation in France at the time uh, right now when South African authorities and lawmakers are considering themselves possible changes to uh, their laws to better protect the victims of uh, uh, trafficking in human beings and in the fight against this crime. Trafficking in persons for sexual exploitation constitutes one of the worst violations of human rights and the human dignity. It is also one of the areas of organized crime in strong development. The French and Swedish foreign ministers have committed in 2019 to strengthen their cooperation in the fight against human trafficking for sexual exploitation. This commitment takes the form of active promotion of legislative models allowing to protect more effectively the victims and address the demand side. I would like indeed to uh, stress, to remind that action on the demand side is seen as a necessary complement to the action uh, to dismantle the traffickers' networks. The UN protocol on trafficking in human beings, for example, calls for it. Latest trends worldwide show a growing involvement of criminal networks in prostitution. When France decided to change its laws, 90% of persons in prostitution were victims of uh, trafficker networks, trafficking in human beings, and uh, were persons among the most vulnerable part of the population, often in the context of migration. Our legal system had also to be adapted uh, to fully end criminalization of victims, the persons in prostitution, and the law needed to be giving real perspective to these persons for another life, for another chance in life. And that is why the title of our law in 2016 mentions the so-called exit strategy to the prostitutional system. Actually, now, with the implementation of the law, more than 600 victims so far have benefited from a mobilization of social services at local level. After two years, more than 85% are still in their new conditions for living, in a real job, a new life. This program attracts, uh, for this reason, strong international interest and indeed, it is a great achievement of interagency work in the cities and communities. It is not so expensive for the authorities, also which, if you compare uh, to what uh, public authorities would need uh, in, in the absence of these programs. And the new law of 2016 has also shown in uh, other areas of its implementation, six years later, uh, success, for example, in the, this action on the demand side, the sanctions imposed on clients which are paying high fines, uh, and these sanctions are uh, every year about 1,500 throughout the territory. And we can see already uh, quite a, uh, a, a strong uh, uh, positive effect because we have very limited repeated offenses and a good participation in all the uh, awareness programs. We have seen reduction of sexual exploitation in the public space. The French people are, uh, six years later also, in polls, uh, still a very, uh, in a large majority, supporting uh, this uh, law and this educational process for change in the mindsets and for a stronger responsibility also on the demand side. We consider uh, uh, this uh, law and this model as a necessity to foster the rights of women and girls 
uh, to fight against discrimination. And so the Nordic model that was developed by Sweden uh, in, in a few years ago uh, is now supported by much more states. And we, uh, uh, we are uh, considering it as the equality model because it is very much uh, 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 focusing uh, specifically also on uh, this aspect uh, of uh, fight, uh, fighting discrimination. Uh, and Europe uh, and uh, more, uh, more states in Europe and worldwide are following this approach. We are expecting also that Spain will join uh, soon. And on the African continent, we would welcome uh, to, uh, de uh, to develop our dialogue with South Africa and to see possible steps of lawmakers in that direction too. So the foreign ministry of France, I, I represent, it's taking its full part in, uh, together with our Swedish friends in this feminist diplomacy. I wish you all excellent talks and exchanges during this seminar and thank you very much for your attention.